Hello everyone, I wanted to make a video, uh, an overview video for week four of the course, but really for part two of the course, uh, which I'm calling the meaning of mortality. It consists of two readings, one's by Hans Jonas, The Burden and Blessing of Mortality, the other by Glenn Gray, a notable American philosopher, The Idea of Death in Existentialism. <clears throat> this is uh, something that I, uh, I'm sure that I have this is something that I'm sure that I have hit on before, but uh, there is a, I, I would say an important distinction in talking about death and the philosophy of death. And that is death versus mortality. Obviously very closely related uh, concepts, uh, but importantly different in their, in, their, um, uh, in their senses. If we take an Epicurean view, death Death is the limit of life. Um, it's problematic to even call it an event or a something that happens, but let's just say for the moment that death is it's an event of a certain sort. Again, that's problematic, but it's something that happens perhaps, but it's something that happens at the end of life. Mortality is is different, and it's also easier to talk about. Uh, I don't mean just emotionally. I don't think it's emotionally any easier. It's just philosophically easier to wrap your mind around because the Epicurean view of death is a puzzle. Exactly how we are to define death, characterize death, whether we can conceptualize death when it is a mere limit or a mere terminus without any extension in time. That's why it's difficult, I just as a digression, to call death an event is problematic because events happen in time and they have some sort of duration in time. But death doesn't have any duration. It's like other limits, temporal limits, where it marks the end of a, a series of events, that series of events being our lives, rather than representing an event in itself. That's why I say it's problematic. But in any case, the thing about mortality is that it's easier to conceptualize. Mortality Mortality is a condition of our being. We are all mortal right now. Um, mortality I'm defining here and just, you know, Mortality is the condition of being the sort of thing that can and will die. That is, to be mortal is to be the kind of thing that can die. So we are mortals. Um, all living things that we know of are mortal. Animals, plants, they're alive. They will die. So they're mortal. Um, I think that it's easier to talk about in terms of it's very difficult to describe death itself, but it's not that difficult to at least begin to describe what is really the subject of the second part of the course. What is it like to be mortal? existential question here, I think. How does being mortal condition the rest of our existence? How does it affect the rest of our existence? Uh, that is, I think, the general area we are in for the second part of the course. And clearly, it, it, it's quite different uh, area than we were in the first part of the course. Um, it's incredibly interesting. And, and I have to say, you know, things open up quite a bit. 
when you're trying to figure out the puzzles of Epicureanism, you're always trying to sort of revise your terminology to, to fit the strictures that Epicurus really lays on, on us in talking about death. Whereas when we talk about mortality, I think we can be freer in the way we express ourselves because it's an easier thing to grasp and it's something that we know better. Presumably, we know what it's like to be immortal. Not immortal, but a mortal, a mortal creature. Um, and, and we can begin to think then about how being mortal actually figures into just being alive, living your life, being the sort of creature you are. So that is the general area, I think, that we'll be exploring in the second part of the course.